Hey everybody, welcome back to your Subtology Monday Q&A show, the show that answers your questions, helps you out in a pinch, and is also wrapping up the year. This is the last one of the year. It's actually a day or two. What is it, the 30th? Yeah, it's the 30th. So one more day before the new year rolls and we are into 2019. Um, I'll be a little before you because I'm across the date line. I'm going to be one of the early ones because I'm in Taiwan. If you guys didn't know that, I don't know if you follow it enough. I don't ever mention it really that much. I live in Taipei, Taiwan. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, let's talk about the show, how this thing works. If it's your first time or 217th time, I think that's what the show number this is. Uh, it is simple. You put your questions in the comment section below. You vote up your favorites. And every single week, I will dig deep and try to get the best ones out. Also, if you want to support the show, I've got patches in the web store. I got these and a bunch more. I think I got like 13 different ones going on out there. Uh, the link is going to be in the corner here or down in the description box as well. Also, if you want to skip ahead to a question you like, for example, the title question, it may not be the first one, I always have time codes down below. Also, toward the end of this video here, we have the video recommendation of the week. Uh, and I pick those from your guys' recommendations or people who comment down there. I like to click on channel names a lot and dig deep uh, to see if you have a channel. But I do support your own channel, so please self-promote. You know, I, uh, nominate yourself down there or a channel you love. Um, this week will be one that was nominated, uh, self-nominated quite a few weeks ago, and it's been a long time coming for me to get him added. But he was one of the top questions this week uh, when I was looking. Anyway, enough about all that. Um, real quick, what's going on this week uh, or coming up? Go, I've got a lot of stuff. You guys didn't check out the MP7 unboxing video. That just happened. It's the AEG one. I got a hands on a final one. This is like a sample. It's the final one. They had like a small batch go to Germany and that was it. So I've got it to give you first impressions. If you want to know what's going on with the HK MP7 AEG, full AEG with a very unique gearbox inside. Um, I do have a video on that, including some photos of the gearbox and how that works. Also coming up, I've got gameplay from Japan. I've got gameplay here from Taiwan. I went out and played. I also have a couple, uh, some quickie videos, some fun ones, as well as some stuff, uh, some reviews are filmed in Japan, as well as a lot of new releases from some great companies like G&G and Humorex uh, USA and Global on that. Anyway, enough about all that. So don't forget, mash the sub button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber here. So enough about that. Let's get on to what you're really here for, and that is your questions in the Titman mail call. Judas the Last writes, can someone help me out? So I was wondering if you can install an ambidextrous fire selector on a gun that doesn't originally have an ambi fire selector. So that is a tough one. Uh, to be honest with you, unless it's a very select few models, you're not gonna have much luck. And this is what I kind of talk about in my reviews a lot. If you guys know, I mean, I do this video and I do a lot of product reviews. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on the channel um, over the years. During the reviews, I always try to highlight if it's ambidextrous or not because that's not something you can really add to a gun. So if you are lefty or if you shoot offhanded a lot, I find myself, uh, I don't know if you guys notice this, when you go play airsoft, let's say you're in a big square field like a CQB field or even outdoor field, right? Most people tend to go to the right. They're right-handed, they can peek to the right, they only have to expose a little bit of themselves. So when you're fighting your enemy and you're looking at them, chances are they're going to pop out on your left side. So that's normally naturally because it's easy to shoot. For me, I like to be a little different. Um, I like to shift to the left. I am right-handed, but I am left eye dominant. And uh, I've been really forcing myself over the years to shoot left-handed. Uh, and I do back and forth. It really helps a lot to be comfortable shooting left-handed or in, you know, if you're lefty, right-handed. So strong hand, weak hand, or strong hand, they don't like to say weak hand, strong hand, other hand, I guess. Um, so, Back to the uh, ambi fire selector thing. It's one of those things you can't add. So it's if you do shoot a lot lefty, it's one of those things if you have the budget and you're moving into more of a premium gun, usually the lower cost guns, not many of them have it. Uh, it's something to look forward to. It's something to look for as well. Um, to me, I, I, it's important to have something like that. For, I do want uh, an AEG or a rifle or a GBBR or whatever I'm using to be ambi friendly pistols. A little less because pistol you can kind of, you know, I, I don't worry so much. I do like it. Sometimes I'm left-handing shooting, but it's pretty rare. I still shoot righty. But for an AG, for a rifle, for a submachine gun, it's pretty important to pick that up. Um, so to answer your question, uh, Jen is the last. It's not, really the answer is no, uh, with a few minor exceptions. It's not always a hard no, but it's not something you're going to be able to add uh, on the fire selector side. And that's why I would say look before you purchase, if that's something you do, if something you use, especially if you're lefty, you're probably already looking for something that's left-hand friendly. 
Um, but if you're getting more advanced into airsoft making the investment, it's probably something you want to make sure that, that box is checked before you pick up that AEG. Kenzia Masamura writes, Hey John, I'm new to the hobby. Can't decide if I should get a flashlight or a tracer unit for my M4. I mostly play indoor CQB at the moment. More power to you. <coughs> Messed up on that one. It's live, guys, or it's semi-live. I kind of get a little choked up. Anyway, so here is the deal. Um, this is a tough one. So if you guys play indoor, play CQB, they're usually not very brightly lit places. Um, you are kind of at a disadvantage. Your BBs, sometimes you may not be able to see them in the air. So you have two good choices. One, you get a flashlight. Turn that flashlight on. When you fire, it illuminates the BB as it travels in the air. You can see this nice, beautiful white streak coming out of your gun. You can see the BB traveling in the air, and it lets you walk those shots in on the target. The other thing you can do is get a tracer unit. But for a tracer unit, you need to pick up glow-in-the-dark BBs. Now, before six months, eight months, a year ago, I would have said, get the flashlight, because you're limited on your BB choices. There's only a few you can pick up. They are like 0.2s, 0.25 gram, that's it. You don't get anything heavier if you like heavyweight BBs. You're very, very, very limited to your choices. Well, now you can get 0.36 bio uh, tracer BBs. I mean, you can get, there's so many great options. Now, tracer BBs are more expensive. Tracer unit is pretty pricey. You want to get a good one. I, I will tell you right now, right now I'm using the Ace Tech. Um, a couple different ones. In fact, I've got, oh, I've got one on the front. Actually, I did not plan this. I'm serious. I got a lighter here. Um, I, I really like what Ace Tech is doing right now. They make some really good stuff. I would probably dare say, I've not done a review on their stuff. I don't think, I, maybe I did one review on one item or like Chrono. Um, my experience, probably the best tracer in the unit right now. Tracer, tracer in the industry right now uh, is Ace Tech. And this is just me from my own personal opinion. I'm re-looking at Xcore Tech and some other brands as well, but right now I'm, I'm really leaning heavily on Ace Tech. I like it a lot. Um, that's my personal purchase that I run myself. Um, but it does get expensive with the BBs. You have to buy, these aren't cheap, uh, about the price of a flashlight. But with a flashlight, you can use your own BBs. Whatever weight you want, in whatever brand you want, you can get bios, you can get whatever, a lot more easily available and much more affordable. Now, the downside to a flashlight is when you turn it on, it gives away your position. So you have to get used to, as you pull the trigger, pressing that flashlight button. Make sure it has a momentary on and off switch. So you're gonna kinda do that simultaneous, you know, for a little burst fire or single shots, turn the light on, fire a couple of them, let go. You don't want that light on all the time. It's gonna really give you away in CQB. Tracer unit, when you fire, it illuminates the BB and that's it. Um, so that's a bonus for the tracer for me. Flashlight though, you can also use just to check and to blind your opponents, not blind them actually, but disorient them. It's, it's really hard, there's a bright light. I mean, you've played CQB before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, well, there's a light. I don't know if the guy's to the left of it, to the right of it. Is he just sticking kind of his gun around and flashing his flashlight? Or is he like wide open? You can't usually see behind that light. So it uh, has an extra bonus. With the tracer unit, you can see the BBs in the air, but not as much. It doesn't give you away as much, I feel. I, I personally use a tracer unit, but for a very different reason. For YouTube videos, I find the tracer vi uh, unit is much more reliable for me to get that BB on camera and I can actually take the green BB, usually it's not a green, a lot of green indoors, and I can just pump the greens in post. I can take that bright color green so I can sample the color and in my editing software go whoop, pull it up and it really makes it bright and then you can see it more. It's, it's more for the videos I'm producing. Um, I have both and they work great. The positive on the tracer unit is it won't get shot out. Um, the negative on the flashlight is there's a possibility it will get shot out. In fact, I'm looking for my, I don't think it's in here. I think it's ready to go somewhere. Um, looking for my broken Surefire who got shot out. It's cool. It happens. Be prepared. This Surefire wasn't one I could put a protector on. I would say put a protector on your flashlight. For sure do that. So it's a give or take. I know I'm not giving you an answer per se. Um, I will say this. For the cost and performance, you're going to get away cheaper with a flashlight. You can buy a very affordable flashlight at your local shop or an online shop and have a solution. You can run whatever BBs you want as long as you've got a rail to, to put it on, your pistol, your rifle, whatever you've got, your submachine gun. Um, that is going to be your best option. For long-term professional use, now that heavyweight BBs are available, I personally prefer the suppressor, but the downside is you're adding stuff to the end of your gun. These don't always fit on every pistol because some pistols don't have threads. In fact, a lot of them don't. Um, 
you have to take the flash hiders off your guns, your rifles, and then some of them may or may not match up. Like you have an MP7, it's like 12 millimeter threads that are positive instead of 14 negative. So there's a lot of negatives. I think overall the best choice, if I'm going to give someone a recommendation to start off with, work into the flashlight. If you like what you get, move into the tracer unit. I notice more of the experience here. Saw players um, that are not playing BQB, but like actually outdoor and a mixed. Most of those guys have moved to tracers. To, uh, I've noticed and a lot of the YouTubers use tracers, probably for the same reason I do. Um, I personally like the tracer unit. Although at night games, the oh, tracer unit can give you away. Night game, I'm more of a uh, flashlight guy for night games. If it's outdoors, for sure. Anyway, hope that helps. I know it's kind of a long answer to your question, but uh, hopefully that'll help you narrow down your choices and give you both the pros and the cons of using a flashlight or a tracer unit for airsoft. All right, that's it for questions this week, which means it is time for the Code Red Headsets video recommendation of the week as I get comfortable in my chair. And this one goes out to someone who highlighted himself many weeks ago. In fact, I, I went back like, almost two months, and I thought I talked about him, but maybe I didn't, because I couldn't find him. Maybe I had him, like, I, sometimes I'll pick like two or three videos and only pick one. Anyway, it's Salty Old Gamer. I love this guy. Actually, it's kind of my, uh, I, I love the channel. I hit the subscribe button on him. Uh, he's got l real low subscriber count. I don't know why. He's good in front of the camera. He does reviews. He does gameplay. He's comfortable. His reviews are very informative. In fact, if you guys are looking at buying an affordable GoPro, he's got a fantastic GoPro. Uh, the new 2018 version, the Hero 2018, talks about it, the pros and the cons. He's critical in the right way. Um, and then the gameplay's great. It's a little funny too. I love it. Um, this, this is just a good, well-balanced channel, I think, all around. And the sub counts are far too low compared to what the quality content he's put out. His thumbnails are on point. They're, they look great. It's just overall, this is a great channel. In fact, it's only, I think, like three months old. I think the channel is very new. So mark my words on this one. This will be a channel to watch the growth, I think he will be uh, in a, <laughs> very shortly probably blowing right past me and moving on. Very, very good work here. I really like what he's putting out. So if you guys are interested in a good channel that's a lot like what you watch here with some information, some tech reviews, and some gameplay, which I don't really put out much of, but I'm gonna try to get a little more of, definitely check out Salty Old Gamer. I love the stuff. He also comments a lot here in the comment box below. Um, that's how I kind of really kept an eye on him. I saw him again last week. He was putting his commentary on about the Speedsoft thing. Uh, he actually has a great video about Speedsoft and if it's cancer or not. Uh, might be another one worth watching to see his opinion. So anyway, check it out. As always, you know, there would have been a box that popped up or a little link over here probably already. You can click it, the little I button there. Or as always, I'll have a link to his channel and the video I've highlighted here, which is, oh, by the way, the team kill of the week. I love it. It's like every single week, so I'm like getting team killed. So uh, if you guys play, you know you've probably been team killed a lot. I do a lot, especially if you push forward really far. You end up getting team killed uh, by your buddies behind you. Anyway, check it out. Uh, if you want to watch the video that's been playing over my face, or of course, subscribe to the channel. If you do like what you see, mash the sub button over there on this channel and let them know I sent you. Well, that's it. As always, thank you so much. And just like subscribe there. I'd love to have you subscribe here if you haven't done that. Hit it down there. Hit the notification bell for updates. I like to get a few videos out every single week. Some product reviews and of course, every single Monday with the exception of like just a holiday break once or twice a year. I do the Monday Q&A video where I, I hopefully have this great dialogue with you guys. I love hearing from you and I love sharing what I can back, my opinions, and I love reading your opinions back next week or, or underneath after I've uh, done the video. I think it's fantastic. I, I love it. It's, it's kind of like a two-way conversation through the magic of the internet. Anyway, until next week, go out, play some airsoft, have some fun, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.